Thanks for joining us today at 5. Marion County is making a big change when it comes to keeping you safe during this pandemic. We learned today you'll have to wear a mask beginning on July 9th. Yeah, Mayor Joe Hogsett is the first Central Indiana mayor to make such a move. And our Mary Mills joins us live tonight with a look at what this means for everyone who lives, works, and visits Marion County. Hi, Mary. Hey, Jenny, you know, a lot of people already wear masks. Many businesses require them. What this does, though, is it makes wearing a mask in Marion County mandatory. But that said, you're probably not going to see any face masked police out and about. This is a major change to what normal means here in Indianapolis. But the mayor says it's the right thing to do. Starting July 9th, Marion County residents will have to wear face masks when in public places. That includes office buildings and retail establishments and when entering restaurants, but not while sitting at the table. Masks will also be required if you're outdoors and unable to maintain social distancing. So not if you're on your bike, but say if you're in the stands of a little league game. The exceptions, children under two and those with a medical condition that prevents the use of a mask. The mayor says while many may not agree with the new policy, I don't have sympathy for those who may argue in the coming days that this simple science driven policy is an unjust burden. The Marion County Public Health Director agrees while several surrounding states have seen a dramatic increase in COVID-19 cases. Dr. Kane says the numbers here have leveled off due in large part to the phased reopening and people playing by the rules. And it's because of these sacrifices that our numbers have improved and we avoided a crisis in our hospitals. But the COVID-19 pandemic is far from over. Health inspectors, not police, will be charged with enforcing the mask rule. Kane says while fines are possible, the main goal is to educate people and stress the importance of wearing a mask, not just for themselves, but their neighbors and colleagues as well. And again, the mask rule takes effect one week from today, Thursday, next Thursday. If you're wondering why not this weekend with July 4th here, well, the mayor said he wanted to make sure that people knew about the new rule and had a chance to go out and get masks. And by the way, the city is still offering free face masks. Jenny? Yeah, that's good to know. All right, Mary, so this starts July 9th. Can you let us know how long it'll last? And what if someone does get caught not wearing a mask? What's the fine? Well, right now it's open ended. There is no end to this. They're just going to see how long it's needed. And as for the fine up to a thousand bucks. But again, as Dr. Kane said, this is really about educating people, not punishing them. But that said, if there's a business or venue that is not enforcing this, uh, they could face repercussions. All right, lots of good information, Mary. Thank you. We should also note that we learned today that all Marion County schools will require students in sixth grade and up to wear masks for the upcoming school year, as well as teachers and staff. And now we want to give you some context about why it is so important to wear a mask when around other people. Take a look. The risk for transmitting COVID-19 is highest when two people are not wearing masks. You're at a lower risk when at least one of the two people is wearing a mask. And then the lowest risk of all is when both people are wearing face masks. Now keep in mind, different kinds of masks give you different kinds of protection. A new study found a bandana is the least effective. That allows droplets from coughs and sneezes to travel more than three feet. But a well-fitting homemade mask with two layers of fabric kept particles to just a couple of inches away.